if you don't have enough money to invest on paid campaigns, this leveraging existing opportunities on the platforms is the way to go because you can start getting attention and start generating some revenue, which will eventually help you get some money into some of these paid campaigns. So reach more people with paid ads. So over here it says create paid campaigns, ads to reach more people that might be interested in your content. Back in 2011, when Facebook was just basically getting started, it was very easy to create content and get reach and go viral and get people to pay attention. Facebook and Instagram are not there. There are opportunities. I don't want to open up cans of worms, but there are many opportunities in this environment. For example, there's something right now, anybody heard what Instagram Reels is about? Raise your hand. Wow, look at that. Reels, Reels, R-E-E-L-S. Uh, anybody heard what TikTok is? Raise your hand if you know what TikTok is. Raise your hand. If I asked that question a year ago, 20% of you guys would have raised a hand, all right? It's, it's one of those things that opportunities. So there's the ability to capture attention at a faster pace on some of these platforms. Instagram Reels, you should definitely note it down. Facebook Reels, you should definitely note it down. These are video clips anywhere from 15 seconds to one minute in length, and they are taking off. Even if you don't have a lot of followers right now, you have the ability to break through right now. We haven't had that ability in years. And I'm going to try in a little bit. I'm going to share something with you guys. I'm going to show you examples of how we're taking off with small channels that are just getting started with some of these opportunities. If you guys don't have an advertising budget and you're like struggling trying to get your Panda Express, I just keep on, I just keep on using that, <laughs> right? If you don't have enough money to invest on paid campaigns, this leveraging existing opportunities on the platforms is the way to go because you can start getting attention and start generating some revenue, which will eventually help you get some money into some of these paid campaigns. That's for those of you guys that have zero advertising budgets in general. I'm gonna give you guys some examples on, on what's happening on that, on that area. But we're gonna reach more people with paid ads. So, now that you're creating content, right? You got your superpower running, you're putting co content on Facebook and Instagram, you're being omnipresent. Let me show you now what to do with this, and here, I'm gonna share something with you guys. So right now I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you an example on, right here on the projector, on how to get these value content pieces to reach more people. So for example, here we got Dr. Rick Berg. All right, he has half a million followers on his Instagram almost, and he has great content, great reach. Again, this guy is a super powerhouse content creator, so it's a great example of what it is to provide that value. If I want to get more people, again, 493,000 is not even 1%, not even close to 1% of the potential audience out there. It's, we got so much room to grow still. So I want to be able to take some of the money that he's already making on his brand, which is quite a bit, and I want to use it to reach more people. How do I do that? Well, directly on the Instagram app, it's very simple to press a few buttons and reach more people. So what do I do over here? I'm gonna show you guys both on Instagram and on Facebook how to get this done. So let's say for example over here, I wanna get this content piece over here to reach more people. This is a four minute and 23 second video. It has a thousand views, it was just posted a few hours ago. And I wanna use that video to reach more people. Seven weird signs, symptoms of sync deficiency. So there's a button over here that says boost post and you guys are all gonna have that. If you don't have that, it's probably because you have something called a personal Instagram account. All you gotta do is you go to the settings over here of your account, settings, and you change that. You go to settings and you go to uh, account, and at the bottom of it, it says switch account type, and you can see over here, we can switch it to a personal account or to a business account. There's three types of accounts on Instagram. Personal, creator, or business. That's it. If you want to spread your message because you're a content creator and you're a personal brand, you can do either creator or you can do business, one or the other. If you don't have a business per se, well, you, you will be using your Instagram profile only personally. Personal means exactly that. You're going to use it to engage with your friends and family and that's it. To put your pictures on the, on the beach and drinking a pina colada or I feel like saying again, eating your Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> uh, so again, this, 
you're going to do either a business or a create or creator account, right? If you're a natural slim, for example, you do a business account. If you're a Manuel Suarez, you do a creator account. It depends on that. That's going to allow you for you to boost your your, your social media organic content. So in this case, Dr. Berg has a creator account. So I'm going to go ahead and look at his post and I'm going to click on this one right here. And I'm going to click on boost post. And in a matter of a minute or two, I can be reaching new people out there in the world on Instagram. This has been oversimplified over the years. Why? Because Facebook needs to make money. In case you didn't know, Instagram is owned by Facebook. They need your money in order for them to grow. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, uh, I'm going to advertise with a Facebook ad account. If you don't have one, you're going to have to create one. And you can go for the steps over here to get that done. Or you can do without a Facebook ad account, which I don't recommend. Again, I don't want to open up a can of worms, but when you, when you do it through the Facebook ad account, there is another world that opens up, which is part of that journey, which is called the, the Meta Business Suite, which allows you to accumulate audiences of people watching your content. If you advertise randomly without accumulating those audiences, it's like throwing money down the drain because you want to be able to continue building that relationship with people. If you guys look at my Instagram, I have all these accounts connected. Manuel Suarez, Eric Berg, Natural Slim, Metabolismo TV, AGM. I can just switch from one to the other, all right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and switch the example and go to Natural Slim, which is our brand over here. And I'm going to click on this one over here. I'm going to click on Boost Post. And let me see if this is ready. Okay, so right away I see, I clicked on Boost Post. And now it's asking me, what do I want? Do I want more visits to my profile? If you guys want to get more followers, you can pay for them. It's actually going to be real followers because you're putting ads in front of them. Do I want to get more website business or do I want to get more messages? If you guys want to generate prospects, why not just select more messages and create videos that inspire people to message you and ask any questions and engage with you? That, that way you can build a connection with these people. In this case, I'm going to select more website visits. And uh, I have a few options over here. This one over here at the top is for people that have credit opportunities, employment, housing. You got to get special approval to run these type of ads. Or I can do automatic. At that point, I'm letting Facebook select an audience for me. I recommend that you guys select your own audience. I'm going to go to create my own. And I'm going to call it whatever I want to call it. USA females. Usually I will get a lot more detail on that. I will select locations. I will select... Uh, United States as, uh, as my location. Again, you can get really, really micro over here. If I wanted to target 10 miles around this building, I can. If I wanted to target a zip code, I can. If I want to target a city or a state only, I can. All of that is possible with this particular platform over here. So for example, I got United States over here. If I wanted to target Largo, which is where we're at, I can just type in Largo, Florida, and I got Largo, Florida. So it's going to target people over here only. If you're a local business just servicing the Largo area, why would you target anybody else, right? So I'm going to go and select Largo. And it, and it tells you how many you can reach up there, right, at the top? It can tell you, yeah, we're over here right away. That's a good point, Jorge. Uh, 71,000 to 84,000 people are the estimated audience actively on Facebook, on Instagram, on that particular category of Largo. USA females ages 18 to 65. So if I want to change this over here, um, Dr. Berg's audience, this is natural slim, is going to be 40 to 55, 30, 39 to 55 is more of our demographic. I go to, uh, I'm going to take away males because males are not interested in health as much as females are. Our audience is historically 80% females. So I'm not going to target males because, you know, generally males that come to us are being forced by their wives to get on a diet. That's realistically, right? So we're going to keep on the females in there. We're going to go to done. And I already selected my audience over here. So I got an estimated 9,500 uh, people to 11,000 estimated in Largo, females, 39 to 55 years old. I go to done. And I'm going to go to next. And I'm going to select what is my budget. Anybody can afford $5 a day. All right. So I can do $5 a day, and I can run it for six days. I can run it for one day. I can run it for 30 days. What's the minimum? The minimum advertising budget. Anybody has a dollar to spend a day, all right? If you do a dollar a day, you can reach anywhere from 630 to 1700. Why do they have that range so spread? Very simple. The better your content, the more reach you will get. Because Facebook and Instagram are going to reward you for creating content that people are interested in. As simple as that. The, the logic behind it is quite simple. 
Facebook is trying to keep people on the platform. If you're giving them content that is low quality, people are going to be inclined towards being like, this is boring, I'm getting out of here, I'm going to go to TikTok. So they reward you for producing great quality content. So you can get more reach if your content is good. For example, my dad gets great reach, especially organically. Why? Because his content is so good that people interact with it, they engage with it, and they lower the cost to reach these people. It's a great system. So I'm going to go and select 30 days. Actually, I'm, I don't have enough money right now. So I'm going to spend $5 over five days. And I'm going to go to next. And I can preview the ad right here. You can see how it's going to look. So I got a couple of options. I'm going to preview it on the feed. This is how it's going to look on the feed, all right? Or I can preview it on stories. This is how it's going to look on stories in a second. It's coming. It's readjusting it. Remember, Instagram is not only Instagram. Instagram is Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, Instagram TV, Instagram Feed, all right? All those things are part of what Instagram is at. Or I can go to Explore. Explore is a section of Instagram in which people are just trying to engage with new things that they haven't been exposed to before. So there we go. So I have this, this post right here, and I can just go ahead and click on Boost Post. And it's telling me something about discrimination, et cetera, and I accept. And just like that, the ad is being reviewed. In the next hour or two, they're going to start showing that across the city of Largo. Wow. I get more attention for a few dollars. That's the magical thing. You guys have to play, compete with yourself. If you have a dollar a day, that's better than zero dollars a day. If you have a hundred dollars a day, usually in AGM, we have a formula. And that formula depends on how much income we generate. And every single month, we use that formula to determine how much money we're going to spend on advertising. I recommend that you guys also have a formula in place. Because if you don't advertise, you don't get attention. If you don't get attention, your company stops growing. So you got to consistently put money to play in platforms like Instagram and Facebook and TikTok to help you get attention.